Hey everyone, I'm Standish. And I'm EY. I'm so glad you're here at Grace Kids. We are going to be challenging you to use what God has given you to be the good in the world. God has a plan for everyone and his plan for you starts today, like right now. It doesn't matter how old you are and when you learn them, you can start using your individuality to change the world around you. All this time talking has me reminiscing on my time as a time traveler. Hey, what? Um, you never time travel. <laughs> Oh, this reminds me of when Rachel didn't believe that I was a time traveler. EY and EY? I told you, I am from the future. I really have to go. Bye. So are we done with the episode? I think I missed it. Those were some good times. Well, that's not important now. Oh wait, we still haven't spin the wheel. I think it's about time. Do you think you can show me that time traveling thing maybe a little bit later? Maybe. Let's play the game first. In today's game, you will be working against the clock. We are going to show you some cards. Each card has a symbol on the back and you will have 15 seconds to memorize the location of each symbol. Then at the end of the time, we're gonna flip the cards over and ask you where a symbol is located. You guys have to tell us where you remember it being. Each round will get harder as we keep going, so let's see our first round. Now we are going to flip the cards. You need to tell me where the card symbol is. Round two. Let's flip those cards. We need you to find the church. There it is. We have flipped the cards. Can you tell us where the glasses are? Yep, there it is. All right, round four. Okay, now you need to find the gift box. There it is. Round five, our final round. Flip those cards. Now I need you to find the hourglass symbol. That's our symbol for today. There it is. Thanks for playing our game today. Okay, wait, the time traveling thing. Oh, right. Okay, okay. All right, so here's where I have hidden the time machine here. Okay. And the password is... Oh, okay, well, I'm figuring this out. <laughs> I think it's about time that we watch our Bible story. The Bible, it's 66 books of history stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 4, verse 12. Timothy of Lystra must have felt like he lived in two worlds. His mother, Eunice, and his grandmother, Lois, both were Jewish and believed in the one true God. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, 
the Lord is one. But Timothy's father was Greek and likely not a believer. Just work hard and be a good man, son. That's what really matters. Okay, Dad. One day, two men arrive in Lystra. Timothy may have heard them speaking in the center of town. Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. You can turn to him now. One of the two men even healed a man who had never been able to walk. The crowd was amazed. The gods have come down to us in human form. Uproar engulfed the city. People even tried to offer sacrifices to the two men, Paul and Barnabas, as if they were gods. But in the middle of the chaos, a group of Jews from nearby towns where Paul and Barnabas had preached showed up and convinced everyone to attack the man with stone and stake. Though the Jews dragged Paul outside the city and left him for dead, Paul got right back up. Timothy really surely heard about it. The power of this Jesus is real. Paul left for Derby the next day and returned again to Lystra. Timothy, his mother and grandmother, all listened to Paul's teaching, and all three became believers in Jesus. Paul continued on his journey, but left behind a small, thriving new church. We must pray each day and teach each other. Timothy, in the meeting tomorrow, you should tell the story Paul shared, the one about how Jesus raised a dead man. Oh, but I, I don't really like to talk in front of people. I think you shall do very well. By the time Paul had returned several years later, Timothy had become a faithful disciple of Jesus. Everyone at the church spoke well of him. Timothy knows all the Hebrew scriptures. He is kind to everyone, not just those who are Jewish. And his father is a Greek man? Oh, yes. Paul was looking for someone to help encourage new churches. Someone who knew God's words. Someone who could speak to people from all different backgrounds. Timothy, I'd like you to travel with me and Silas and Luke. Me? Of course you. Oh, but there are others older than me with more experience. They're bold. They're, they're better at speaking. You're the one God has chosen for this job. Wow. Well, okay. The elders of the church laid their hands on Timothy and prayed for him. God's Spirit provided Timothy with everything he would need for the work ahead. Amen. We leave tomorrow. Over the next years, Timothy traveled with Paul all around the land to help encourage believers and start new churches. While they spent time in Ephesus, Paul gave Timothy a special mission. I want you to go to the church in Corinth. On my own? You're like a son to me. I trust you completely. The church there needs to see an example of what it means to follow Christ. And, well, you're it. Timothy went to Corinth. Over the years, Timothy became Paul's right-hand man. Paul even put him in charge of the church in Ephesus. The leaders in Ephesus are so much older than I am. Will they even listen to me? Your age doesn't matter. As Timothy settled in Ephesus, Paul wrote him letters to encourage him. Don't let anyone look down on you because you're young. Set an example for the believers in what you say and how you live. Also, set an example in how you love and in what you believe. Show the believers how to be pure. Though Timothy met Paul when he was a very young man, he was able to play an important part in helping Paul build up the early church and sharing the incredible news of Jesus. Even though Timothy was a young man when he first met Paul, he was able to play an important part in helping Paul build up the early church and share the good news about Jesus. Don't you love how Timothy lived out what he believed? He didn't wait until he was older to live for God. He opened up his heart to God right away, and God did great things through him. God can work through you too, no matter what your age is. You don't have to wait to make a difference at home, with your family, at school, or at church, even at the grocery store or the playground. There's always opportunities to spread God's love to the people around you. You can do that in your own unique way, and that makes a huge difference. You can choose to step up, put others first, and make things better for the people around you. Don't forget, when you choose to show God's love to the people around you, you can actually point other people to Jesus. You can help them see how much he loves them too. That reminds me of our bottom line for today. You can make a difference right now. Can you say that with me? 
you can make a difference right now. One more time. You can make a difference right now. Let's pray and ask God to help us use our gifts to help other people today. So God, thank you so much for the unique ways that you have made us. And God, sometimes we forget that. So remind us of those ways and remind these kids that no matter how young they might be, you can use them. Give them courage to use their gifts to help other people know your love so they can follow you too. Lord, we love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. That's all we have planned today. Have a great week, Grace Kids. Bye. Bye. Hey, the time machine did work. I told you I wasn't making this up. Oh, hey, me. Hey. Well, that's really all we have planned Bye. this week. Bye. You can actually point other people to Jesus. You can help them see how much he loves them too. You can head to small group now and keep the fun going. <laughs> no. That shouldn't be there. Okay. I was wondering, but <laughs> that's amazing.